All right, guys, what is going on? My name is Ollie Ward. Welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. Hope you've all had a fantastic Thursday and you're ready for the latest Leeds United transfer news. It is deadline. Leeds United have got a deal in the bag. Be sure to smash that like button for we've actually signed someone, fingers crossed, as it stands. Uh, also, subscribe if you're new and comment uh, your thoughts on Connor Roberts. We will get into him very soon. Uh, as it stands, the it's all agreed. It's all good. But I just want to say the reason why there hasn't been videos the last couple of days, I've got an ear infection, which isn't brilliant. I've been in London all day today. It's just, it's been a bit difficult. I know we haven't actually signed anyone, so it doesn't really matter. But I thought I'd just let you guys know that. My ear at the moment is is, is horrible. Is is It just feels so weird and I don't like it. It feels like there's something. Anyway, not getting into the medical stuff, but, um, oh, we might be getting into the medical stuff actually. So let's talk Connor Roberts doing his medical. Uh, but yeah, he's agreed a deal to sign for Leeds United, uh, a loan deal. I don't think it's a um, option to buy afterwards either. People are saying, why? Thing is, I think it's a smart move from Burnley in, in that sense because they don't know where they're going to be in six months' time. They could be back in the championship and Connor Roberts is a brilliant right back for the championship and that's exactly why Leeds United have signed him on loan. Listen, I think Connor Roberts is good. I, I do. I think he's very solid championship. I think he'll fit like a glove in this team. Obviously, he already knows Ethan. He knows Joe. He knows Dan. He's going to fit into the mould and that's what Daniel Farker said. He wants a player that's going to come in, fit in the mould easily. And that's what he will do. Uh, the only thing is we've been targeting him for for so long, for, for so long. And uh, why is it taking 31 days for him to get across the line? Why is it taking three defenders to leave for us to get him in? We've known for three, four years we've needed fullbacks. So why is it taking so long? And it feels a tad bit underwhelming. It, it really does. And I really like Connor Robertson. I think he'll be a very good player here at Leeds United. I think he will fit the mould. I think he will get it. And he hopefully will help us get up. And I think this team is very good. And I think this team is very good to get back to the Premier League. I think it's good enough, 100%. But it just feels a tad bit underwhelming. And obviously, it could still go wrong. At the moment, he's probably doing his medical. He's probably done that. Leeds are probably just ready to announce it. But as it stands, he's not... Uh, I'm just refreshing Twitter. He's not here yet. But nothing's gone wrong so far. Um, but yeah, I mean, all today there's been links with Joe Worrell. Uh, there's been the centre-back Harry Suta or something from Leicester. Leicester, that was off in the end because Leicester don't want to sell to a rival. Joe Worrell, uh, he was off his way to Sheffield United as well. That didn't happen. And uh, Leeds apparently didn't happen. Sheffield United don't want to get rid of him on a permanent deal. Um, uh, was there any others? No, I think it was just Connor Roberts. I think there's been stuff flying around. There has been stuff flying around for the last month. And we're ending with Connor Roberts. And I, I don't want to sound underwhelmed because he's a very good signing. I just feel like it's, I don't know. I just feel like it's a bit meh. I, I really do. Um, but either way, Connor Roberts, hopefully as this video comes out, he would have signed. So who knows? What are you guys' thoughts in the comments down below on Connor Roberts? Uh, next up, a bit of a weird one. Ian Pervader is on his way out of Leeds United. Bit of a last minute twist today. Leeds United was saying they're not getting rid of any more players. And off goes Ian Pervader. Uh, he was liked by uh, Birmingham because uh, Mowbray, obviously, when he was at Blackburn, liked Pervader. He had him on loan there. And uh, Sheffield uh, Wednesday were looking at him as well. And it looks like Sheffield Wednesday have got their man and it will be a permanent deal. And Graham Smith, Phil Hay have kind of hinted at the fact that Leeds United are not going to replace Pervader. So actually... This could be awful. I mean, uh, there's still a few hours to, for stuff to change. Um, but, uh, I, I, you know, it, it is what it is. I don't like it. I think that we need more on the bench. We need a squad bigger. We don't need a small squad. We're literally bringing one in, one out. We've actually got four out and bringing one in, which for a squad that was small anyway, I just don't think it makes too much sense. I don't want to be negative because we have made a signing, hopefully, unless something goes really wrong in this medical. But for me... It just doesn't seem good enough. I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Burnley have just announced they've just signed a defender. Hopefully, I mean, that should mean that Conor Roberts is officially ours, hopefully very soon. But it doesn't look like Leeds United are pushing for anything. Obviously, Cooper was uh, a talking point and it came up at Daniel Farker's press conference. He's not going anywhere, obviously. Um, but we didn't think anyone was going. He thought there'll be no outgoings. But as soon as Sheffield Wednesday have come in with an offer for Paveda, don't know how much yet, uh, by the way, We've just said yes straight away. He's not getting game time, uh, you know, under Daniel Farker, which is fair enough. But still, I just think it's making the squad smaller. It's annoying. But, you know, let's be positive. We've got one signing through the door. Hopefully, Leeds United have agreed a deal with Connor Roberts and hopefully get that one over the mark. What's your thoughts, guys? Do you think we needed more? Do you think we need to replace Perveda? Like, we've got rid of JB. We've got rid of Perveda. We've got rid of Hielder. 
you know, Jed Spence ailing. Uh, a couple of other youngsters are gone. Jack Jenkins is gone. You know, I'm not, not that we really use him. Lewis Bay and all these things. It's just making the squad smaller. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm now off to football. Eight till nine. I'll probably be going on Joe's show or Jer's show. If there's any sort of transfer news, I'll post it. I don't really know. But I don't think we're going to see any more of Leeds United. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, Connor Roberts Medical is booked. It's all done, hopefully. And we should be announcing this signing anytime soon. So, yeah, guys, I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent. And I'll catch you in the next video. Smash that like button. Cheery. Oh. <laughs>